outside um, and I was so improperly dressed because we've had only nice weather for the past like five days like sunshine it's hot like a nice like kind of like october-y breeze that you would find maybe in the states but yeah i'm making some tea in my new mug my dad sent this to me yesterday that's my salad for lunch but yeah i haven't had tea out of a ceramic mug that like wasn't in a cafe that i had to like pay for it in like since december i could have cried it was so good like i'm just i'm having such a nice morning but um i was improperly dressed so i'm so cold so i'm making a cup of tea but i have such a busy day i have a paper due but this morning i went to breakfast and then i went to a lecture for like an hour and then i had um, my last marketing tutorial in person um well, actually no just in general because it's so crazy this is the last week of tutorial which i didn't know because we've been having strikes recently so we've had about like two weeks of strikes this this semester we had one or two last semester as well yeah sometimes lectures happen sometimes they don't sometimes tutorials happen or don't yeah i mean now spring break we have three weeks off i don't have any time off yet i have like next like two weeks i have like two two big papers do i have a two thousand word ish essay do tomorrow um which is what i'm working on today but first it's time to take a break and have some tea and maybe watch an episode of what tree hill because what else is there to do on a foggy day when you have to write a paper i, I don't know listen oh i never listen to the crickets on the show So after my lunch at Zebra Coffee, I booked online tickets on a whim to go see the National Gallery of Modern Art. I really enjoyed this museum because it gave you a lot of materials to read about the different artists and like the styles or movements that they were a part of. There were rooms dedicated to surrealism, pop art, fauvism, cubism. So if you're a little lost um, when it comes to modern art like I am, it was definitely very friendly for beginners. Although I did feel like I learned a lot by the end. Um, so I thought it'd be fun to show you guys my favorite piece um, and I really feel like it captured the true like fervent restructuring and it really like deepened the scope of how you know, we would actually view inaction or action in the subtle intricacies. <laughs> There was also a pile of bricks in the next room, which I thought was a joke, but that was actually real. And then I, re I bet I got to read a thing about it, and I understood it. Um, in all seriousness, I actually spent a really long time watching this film that they have on display now. Um, it was done by an artist named Amy Siegel, I think that's how I pronounce her name, I'm not sure. It was basically, it showed art being moved from somebody's like, almost like manor home in England into a museum. And I stayed a really long time because I thought it was super interesting. They also had an Andy Warhol painting, which um, I've been watching his documentary on Netflix, as well as this other one um, I just recently watched called Made You Look, which is on like a fake art scandal. And I think that if you're even new art these are great recommendations because like I, when i say i don't really know that much about art like i really don't um except the chair of mine like that, that piece of art was just like just like iconic you know what i mean <laughs> 
interesting. It's really been really fun learning about art this year because I am in like technically an arts management major, but I really uh, don't. I've never learned about art. Like I, I did painting and not painting. I did like I took art class in high school, but my my teacher um, verbatim called my art um, abstract. It was just a it was a painting of a mountain, so I don't know why. It was very straightforward. She really clocked me with that one, so. <laughs> she did, she did, but you know what, I deserved it. Yeah, no I did. Okay, that's, that's fine. Summer rain on a window Watch the time float on Cool air blows a memento As I fall behind day out and um ignore my hair it got snowed on it's weird because i started just like living here rather than like touring it <laughs> like for like a month or two like just kind of like living my life, just living my life. <sighs> la 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 shh living my life but i did i got myself a brownie because i deserve it i work hard i'm gonna show you what i got they're so good if you go to zebra coffee you've got to get their brownies everyone was waiting in line for them i went there and i randomly saw like i had plans to go there for breakfast and then i randomly saw this like food blogger talking about it so i got myself one. Oh my god um i smushed it because um i'm trash so but they're so good now it's time for dinner in the dining hall pretty much my whole day revolves around when i can eat food from there um so <laughs> that's what i'll be doing